Hi, I'm Rob Carson. I'm a radio personality and I like to cook. And today we are demystifying something maybe you haven't tried before and that is ribs. Not just ribs, we're making smoked ribs. I'm going to rub these ribs, then I'm going to throw them in a smoker, then we're going to finish them on the grill. As always, because you're going to be playing with fire today, uh, be very cognizant that all the surfaces you're going to be cooking on are very warm. And the smoker actually gets pretty hot too, so let's get started. All right, as far as my ingredients are concerned, I got a half a cup of brown sugar, got about a tablespoon of chili powder, got a tablespoon of salt, sea salt, got a, about a quarter of a cup of paprika. Over here, I've got a tablespoon of onion salt, I've got a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, I got a tablespoon of garlic powder and a tablespoon of fresh cracked pepper. You're also going to need a little bit of canola oil and olive oil and a brush. And then, of course, we're going to mix it all together in this bowl. And obviously, we are going to need the ribs. These are pork loin back ribs, also known as baby back, baby back, baby back ribs. Okay, so let's go ahead and mix our ingredients together and make the rub. Again, this is a Kansas City rub. And I lime partial to Kansas City. I used to live there. And I love Kansas City barbecue. Now you guys may like Carolina barbecue, which is more of a vinegar and uh, based barbecue. You may like uh, St. Louis, which is a dry rub and you serve your sauce separately generally. You may like Texas pit barbecue, which I absolutely love. But today we're focusing on Kansas City. I'm making enough for probably three or four racks of ribs, and obviously you can put this in a baggie or a jar and save it. It'll last forever. So just use what you need today. The brown sugar is really going to cook well. It's going to kind of create a, almost a syrupy texture. And with the other flavors, you're going to be blown away. Okay, there is our rub. All done. Okay. Next, I'm going to rub the ribs. So I got my baby backs. Now a lot of people just put the rub directly on the meat. I use a little bit of oil just because it helps to kind of adhere the, uh, the rub to the meat. And uh, it cooks nicely with a little oil on it. So I'm just going to put this on here fairly liberally. And then this is why they call it a rub. Oh gosh, you're going to love these guys. Now, if you are not going to use a smoker, one of the great ways that I cook ribs is I put them in the oven on a baking sheet at 250 degrees for around three to three and a half hours. Then I finish them on the grill. This makes them unbelievably tender. If you always slow cook ribs, you don't fast cook ribs because it'll just make them tough. And when you take them out of the oven, you don't want them to fall off the bone. You want the meat to come off the bone, but you don't want it to fall off the bone. If you have it fallen off the bone, then you've overcooked them. I don't like mushy ribs. I like some texture to them. All right, there is the rub, and the ribs are ready to go in the smoker. Okay, we're outside on my deck, and let me introduce you to my smoker. Smoker? Meet the audience. Audience, meet the smoker. This is a master-built digital smokehouse. Uh, I bought it for like $235 at a wholesale club, and I absolutely love it. It makes things very simple. It still uses the principle of heat and wood. It's not charcoal, but it's a wonderful canister for everything from beef jerky to salmon to ribs. I've got this set at 250 degrees. It's a digital smoker. It says 247 right now, and I've got an hour and 18 minutes left on these ribs. I put them in for three. Generally, the formula that I have for ribs is three to three and a half hours at 250 degrees in an oven or a smoker. Then you finish them on a grill at 350 degrees. Okay, so I got my ribs off my smoker. There's a little give to them. They're not completely done, but they're getting there. Oh, look at the juice come out of there. <laughs> I'm going to put these on the grill. I got my sauces, which are always important. I got uh, KC Masterpiece, and this is a bullseye chipotle, which actually is really good. Got my basting brush. And ladies and gentlemen, now I give you the Holy Grill. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open up this uh, lid. I've let them cook about another five to ten minutes. I'm going to leave the lid open to finish them because I don't want too much heat to build up. 
These are the KC Masterpiece. We get both sides. These are the bullseye. I'm a fairly conservative person, but when it comes to barbecue sauce, I'm a flaming liberal. I use lots of it. These ribs are about done, my friend. So I've based the, these about three times. And I don't want to cook them anymore. That's about three and a half hours, four hours of your time and worth every minute of it. Smoked baby back ribs. Enjoy them.